Hey, this is Ross Miller from Engadget, and what we're looking at here is the new Android 2.2 Froyo beta. We've got that on the left, and on the right we've got the same Nexus 1 model with uh, Android 2.1. Um, I just want to go over a couple of the quick changes that we can see. Um, first and foremost, the navigation bars here. Um, Google has gone ahead and added just the phone dialer and the browser. Um, that's about all there is to say there. Um, YouTube app, the widget, has uh, updated. Now you can see most viewed. Um, kind of scrolls through, beckoning for your every call. And if you go over to the search feed, hold on to fix the browser. So universal search, you also get um, options to limit it by web apps and contacts. Okay, here you see, I'm going to put a Freya at the top and a Claire below. Here you see the same tennis match uh, on YouTube. As you can tell, the uh, default video um, yeah, sorry, these are I was saying. The default video is basically the same as the HQ on here, whereas if you switch over to standard here, you get definitively actually lesser quality. Um, so don't be fooled by HQ. HQ is actually what you're used to with Nexus One, um, and beyond that is actually kind of a kind of really of a poor substitute. The USB tethering, uh, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, provided the carriers don't get really pissy about it. Um, all I gotta do is go ahead and just click. Um, just kind of wait for it to turn on. A little dance while you wait. All right, there we go. Um, and now it's activating. You can see the hotspot. It's a little blue bar right there. You touch the configure. It takes you back to the screen. And here you go. Security-wise, you've got WPA2, PSK, or nothing at all. So take that what you will.